Hey guys, Brenton here from RevitFamily.biz. And in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about the countertop families that come inside our downloads. So here we are looking at the three different families or the three different countertops that come in, in the bundle. And you can see it's three varieties. There's a straight one, there's an L, and then there's a U-shaped cabinet. And let's go into plan view and take a look at those. So let's start with the straight. It's pretty easy to use these. All you have to do is place the family and then uh, the, the length is a type is an instance parameter. So it's over here. You can, you can change the length here if you know it. If it's 10 feet you, and you know that, you can just put it right in. Or if you're in plan and you just want to drag it to your walls to cover whatever you need to do, you can do that as well. It works the same on the L with the legs. You can do that. And then even on the U shape, you can drop and drag, or you can just drag these to whatever dimensions you want. So that's, and then in addition to that, if you go into the type parameters, you can set the, the, how deep the cabinet is, and then how thick the cabinet is. <clears throat> and then you can also change the backsplash height and width, like how deep the backsplash is. So uh, we'll just leave it with the default setting. So if we look back in 3D, this is what it's looking like. Then you can control where the backsplash is showing up. And this was not too complicated on the straight cabinet. It got a little more complicated on the L-shaped cabinet, and it got infinitely more complicated on the U-shaped cabinet because there is quite an amount of options as to where the backsplash could be. But don't worry, I've got your back. I took a very long time to go through all the different uh, options there could possibly be, and I have written a ton of equations into these cabinets or these countertops so that you can freely pick what sides you want the backsplash to be. So let's just go, let's go to the most complicated one, which is the U shape. And if you just want it along all of the edges, say this is just a real confined space and this counter runs against walls on almost all sides, this is what it would look like. And all you have to do is click it and you just pick what sides of this countertop you want this to be on. And it will do any combination you want. And including, if you don't want it anywhere, you just unclick all of the backsplashes options and they all go away. So if you just want a plain countertop. So let's just do the back and the left end, or we can do just the back and the right side. And there you go. You can click away at all these options and you should be able to build most countertops that you need should be covered by these three different countertops. I didn't used to include countertops into my families because I personally don't love countertop families. Um, these three will probably cover you most of the time. So they're probably a good inclusion. You guys have asked for them, and so I've included them. Um, but the way I recommend you do this, uh, make countertops, would be to do in-place families. And this is for the cases that those three do not fulfill. And so in our example file, you'll see I need a countertop here. And I could try to use three instances of the straight countertop and try to put it at an angle here and here, and then there would maybe be some weird overlapping. So I don't recommend that. Um, this is really a situation where I think I just need to have a custom countertop. And to do that is really easy. You just go up here to place a family. Um, in fact, I don't ever use the bar. I'm just going to do place family. When you go to place family, it gives you this option here that says model in place. You just click that and you pick what type of family you're making. We're going to call it casework and we're going to call it uh, counter countertop. And I may already have that in here. I'll just do countertop. 
10. All right, so now what happens is you're in the project, but you now have the tools that would normally be in the family creation area. So I'm just going to go to my level one plan. And all I need to do is create an extrusion. And we're just going to trace our cabinets really quickly. Um, I'm just going to Okay, and so I like to have deeper cooktops, and so they pop out a little bit more than normal. And I do this little 45 on my countertop to cover that. And so we're just gonna mirror that across. And then we'll trim that to that. And then we'll go close this loop. And I'm being pretty fast about it. Normally, I my counters, I have a one inch overhang. So I would normally take the time to measure the overhang. But right now, we're just giving a quick example. So we're all done. We can click the check mark. And it's created an extrusion. The only other thing we need to do is look in 3D and see where it's done it at. And so it's just kind of floating there. So if we look over here, we know our kitchen, we want to go up to three feet. So that'll be the end extrusion height. And then we want it to be an inch and a half thick. So we're just going to take three feet and minus an inch and a half, which is two feet, 10 and a half inches. And there is our countertop. Actually, I should have left a spot in the countertop for the cooktop. Actually, it doesn't matter because We'll cut this cooktop. We'll cut this countertop with the uh, the cooktop in a second. All right. So there's our countertop. The only other thing we might want to add is a material. So if we want a material, we can pick it now. I'm just going to paint it white for the time being, and then we're just going to finish. And there you go. In place family. Uh, um, and then what's left is I can do the cut geometry command and we pick the countertop and then we pick the family and then it cuts out a hole so that the countertop is no longer going through our cooktop. So that is how I recommend you do countertops. I almost always do all of my countertops like this because it's fast for me, but if you're not familiar with that and not comfortable with it, then I have these families for you. Let me know if you have questions or concerns. Thanks for checking out our families, and we'll talk to you later.